What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and today's video is going to be a pretty fun one. We are starting it off with some Giratina raids. Uh, we do got to do a couple more because I only got one shiny and I do want one more if possible and I want a hundo if possible as well obviously. Although the focus for today's video is going to be a little bit interesting. Today I'm going to be talking about the Unova Stone and how you how you should be using it because I feel like a lot of people are either uh, saving it for something or using it immediately that's all going to be discussed today uh, if you guys don't know what Unova stones are Unova stones are the evolution stone necessary to evolve some Pokemon in the brand new generation generation 5 there's a couple Pokemon that are in the game right now that can be evolved with the Unova stone and there's a lot of Pokemon that are going to be coming to the game that require the Unova stone as well so that is kind of the topic for today's video already halfway in on Giratina I think we we got like two or three races to do today. Also, we're probably gonna do a shiny evolution in today's video. Okay, let's go ahead and grab all that good stuff. Shiny Giratina, are you coming to me? Um, I need to think of some cool stuff to check with the shiny with. I've already done my nose, I've already thrown it in the air, I've clicked my knee, uh, maybe with my ear. Have I done my ear? I think I have, oh no, my recording failed. My recording failed, I'm sorry, that's, ugh. Gotta love iOS recording. Can we get a shiny to combat? No, we cannot. Okay, 1891 Giratina right here. That's annoying. You gotta love iOS devices. And the screen recording failing. God, yeah. Knock on wood, I'm gonna say it right now. Knock on wood, it's never failed on a significant clip. It's always failed on some random things. But one day it's going to, and one day I'm going to cry really hard, because that'll be upsetting. But uh, for now, we're good. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry you guys had to just watch, sit there and watch me talk with nothing on the screen, but it's all good. We got nine balls left. You're not worth throwing nine balls at, but you know, you're lucky I need candy for your other form. And you're lucky I like your other form. And you're lucky your other form is useful. I'm sorry, but that was kind of mean. That was kind of mean. Okay, I, <laughs> I feel bad now because I, I, I caught him on that one. Down goes Giratina right there. 1891. I'm not going to check. Immediate transfer. I don't even I don't even want you in my inventory. Don't take up my inventory space. We got another raid to hit. We got a shiny evolution to do. And we got to talk about that you know of a stone and its um, its uh, significance in the game right now and in the future. So while we're taking out this next Giratina raid, let's talk about the Pokemon that are live right now that require a Unova Stone to evolve. There's a total of four of them right now. Three of them are regional, as you guys may know. Hopefully you guys are familiar with these Pokemon. The three of those regional Pokemon are Panpour, Panseer, and Pansage. And to evolve into their second stage of evolution, it requires a you know there's a there's a loud car coming. Hold on. These Pokemon are or whatever I don't think they're gonna be any useful at all I mean they're, they're cool looking I guess uh, some of them but uh, they're not that useful so I don't know I wouldn't rush to use my Unova stone on those Pokemon in particular since they don't really provide any use they're not useful thrives right now they're not useful the other Pokemon that requires Unova stone on the other hand is actually pretty up oh, definitely a fan favorite in terms of any ghost type Pokemon and in terms of generation 5 that Pokemon is Litwick which evolves into its final stage which is Shane Delore it's actually three stages but Litwick as you guys know is a Pokemon that's available in 10 kilometer eggs I think it's available in the wild as well I think I've seen sightings on the wild so that Pokemon requires a you know stone to evolve into Shane Delore now but I know a lot of people have already done Chandelure and they love Chandelure and, and you know obviously like I said fan favorite remember that it's almost Halloween and we always get a Halloween event and it always brings ghost type spawns so I put my money on the fact that we're going to get a lot of Litwick spawns during Halloween season in the next couple weeks we're gonna get an announcement hopefully you're gonna be getting a lot more Litwick candy and you're gonna get a lot more chances of hatching Litwick I'm assuming they'll probably do that as well but actually there might be a community day Litwick oh what the heck I didn't even know that I clicked on the Giratina I'm so sorry I did not mean to click all the way through this Giratina right here um there's probably that was a good excellent Probably gonna be a Litwick community day at some point, so I guess maybe you do want to wait regardless. It's up to you ultimately, but I'm just here to tell you guys how useful these Pokemon are gonna be and you know how it's gonna uh, how the Unova Stone is gonna be used in the future. But anyways, there's four Pokemon that are live right now: Litwick, which turns into Chandelure, and then the three Pan Regional Monkeys that turn into their second stage evolutions as well: Simi Seer, Simi Sage, Simi Poor. So those are the four Pokemon that can be used with the Unova Stone. The Regionals or the Monkeys, not 
not the most useful chandelure. Yeah, I guess if you wanted to go ahead and do that evolution, you can. I would wait, I would wait personally till a potential community day, or maybe till you get a good IV one instead of rushing a bad IV evolution, but that's just me. Now, like I mentioned, there are other Pokemon that are coming to Pokemon Go, not available yet, that will require this Unova, uh, Unova Stone. We do know a couple of them right now. I don't know if this is, I have a list. I don't know if this includes all Pokemon that are gonna need it, but this is just some of them. I believe it's a handful of them that are going to require Acquire it, and we're gonna talk about that in the next raid. As of right now, we gotta take down this Giratina and move on to the next raid. Can you go down, please? Why are you such a pain? <laughs> Come on, I ugh, I Giratina is Giratina is right down there with with Kyogre in terms of how much I care or like him. I just not a fan, not a fan. Such a low IV Giratina, and he gives me problems on excellence, on excellence, on excellence. I don't get, I don't get the RNG behind that. I really don't. But. I, uh, dude, it's like I'm throwing it's like I'm throwing with a Pokeball no berry straight up, bro. I'm throwing excellent curveballs with a golden raspberry. What you want me to do? Oh my gosh. Giratina, please stop being weird. Don't be like this on camera. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. You don't want to Yeah, he doesn't want to do that. Come on. Okay. Giratina goes down right there. Sorry that took so long. 1857. I'm not even gonna think about you. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer you because you're not worth my time. We're moving on to the next raid. There is a Tauros so the nearby. I'd love to do that, but we gotta move. Um we will talk about the future Pokemon that require you Nova Stones at the next raid. And we're at the next Giratina raid right now. I actually have nowhere to park, so I'm literally just hazarding my car right now. It's, it's, it's a really horrible situation that we're in right now. Doesn't matter. Anyways, I want to talk about something that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I did talk about Chandelure and how useful it was in Pokemon Go. I did a little bit more research, and it's actually going to be a very, very useful Pokemon. One of the best raid attackers for both Fire and Ghost-type Pokemon, and it's going to get a Community Day. I don't think that's going to be anytime soon, but it will get a community day at some point and I'm assuming it's gonna make it even better That's usually how it goes. Anyways, there are a good amount of Pokemon in generation 5 that do require an item to evolve Not all of them not all of them require uh, items that are not in Pokemon Go Some of them require things like Sunstone So those are already in the game. We don't have to worry about that But there are gonna be a couple of Pokemon that will require the Unova stone for sure And we're gonna talk about those right after we take down this Giratina. Down goes Giratina right here We got 15 balls I saw the CP it's horrifying and not a shiny so that's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be it for the Giratina raid it's probably better I don't think you guys want to see these anyways we've uh, set that car and we're also on the last ball of Giratina I've thrown pretty much nothing but excellence I have thrown a couple of greats to be fair but this guy just I mean he does not like me like I said okay that was a bad throw of course and it's just gonna it's just gonna jump out I don't care oh, come on I don't even want this I literally don't want this that's so upsetting I don't want this I kind of want to keep it and say I don't want you. I want to rename him, but yeah, got rid of him. Don't care about him at all. Um, nice. Well, down goes Giratina Raid right there. Let's talk about the uh, Unova Pokemon. Finally got a park spot too, so we could probably go uh, post up somewhere. So we're going to be using a graphic provided to us by Game Press. If you take a look at the middle of the graphic here, you guys can see that there are three Pokemon that have not been introduced yet that will be requiring the Unova Stone, and they're also, as you can probably tell, listed in the low priority category of Unova Stones. The first one all the way to the left is Electros. That evolves from Tynamo or Tynamo and that evolves into Electric and then Electros. A pretty cool family, actually one of my favorite Generation 5 Pokemon and that is probably going to require a Unova Stone. Next up you got Chinchino. I don't know what he evolves from, let me double check. So it looks like Chinchino evolves from Minchino, but that Pokemon is going to require a Unova Stone. Just looking at it, I don't think it's going to be useful. I'm assuming it's going to stay low priority. The final Pokemon is Muna or Muna, and that evolves into Musharna, as you see right there, and that's going to require Unova Stone, also in the low priority category. So, the point of this video is to warn you not to use your Unova Stones on useless Pokemon. Not useless Pokemon, you guys know what I mean. Not the most useful Pokemon, and not. <laughs> and not to use your Unova Stone on Litwick just yet. But this graphic right here showed us what Pokemon are high priority and what Pokemon are low priority as of right now. More news will come on what Pokemon require Unova Stones when the waves come out. When they come out, I will let you guys know what Pokemon use them at the end of this video. Wait, I forgot. We gotta do our shiny evolution. Also, we're gonna do a Pokedex little evolution right here as well. Um, not too long ago when I was in LA, I was doing some trades with Brandon after we got our lucky trade out of the way, and he gave me a really, really good Pokemon that I'm not going to evolve all the way because of this Pokemon. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm not gonna evolve it all the way. I don't have enough candy, that's why. Okay, so we're gonna be evolving Clink in Pokemon Go. As you can see right here, I have a 98% lucky Clink. 
absolutely phenomenal. Got this from Brandon. I do have enough candies to evolve it into Clank, but I don't have enough to evolve it all the way up. But we're going to evolve this. Why not? 98% lucky. Are you kidding me? Of course, I'm going to evolve this right away. Um, this is kind of like the Shinx of this generation. I actually don't know how useful Clank's going to be, or Clank, or Click Clank, whatever his name is at the end. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw Clank in the Pokedex. Pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I got to go ahead and rename it. But yeah, 98% lucky. When I saw this, I was like, what? And then when I saw the IVs, I was like, huh? Oh, it's Clink Clang. Sorry, I was calling it Clank. There's our Clang evolution. When I get enough candies, I will evolve it into Clink Clang. Clink Clang. Uh, but now we get our shiny evolution. I actually wanted to have a little bit fun with this shiny evolution. Today, we're going to be evolving my recently acquired shiny Lillipup in Pokemon Go. Really hoping my screen recording doesn't fail here. We're going to evolve shiny Lillipup. I actually don't remember any of the other stages of his name. I think one of them is, is Herdier, and then the yeah, last one, I don't know. They just both have mustaches. Anyways, we're going to evolve our only shiny Lillipup all the way through to its final stage. Um, I don't know if the differences are are significant uh, I guess we're gonna have to find out let's go and evolve it into its second stage right there it doesn't even look shiny I mean it kind of does this is like a poor man's Entei I guess anyways we're evolving it to Herdier did I say that earlier is that the one I said I don't know anyways let's go and evolve Herdier right now into its final stage let's go ahead and evolve it into this dog right there wow that is okay so that that's pretty awesome that is pretty awesome I'm glad I did this Throwing this guy in the Pokedex, whoever you are, I'm gonna call you Rex for now because I don't know your name. Stoutland, that's what it is. I knew that, I knew that, trust me, I just forgot. Wow, shiny Stoutland in Pokemon Go, that looks crazy. That looks actually crazy. That is way better than Lillipop. I'm glad I did this evolution. There it is right there, 1155 IVs on this guy are not horrible. They're they're bad, but they're not horrible. Um, cool. Make sure to let me know if you guys got a uh, shiny lily pup or any of its family members in the comments down below. Uh, let's get to that recap of the video. The adventure is over, uh, and I, I said I was going to do a recap, but I'm honestly not going to get into it. I feel like we talked enough this video. All I got to say is that if you have a Unova Stone and you have some patience, hold off on the evolutions. I wouldn't do the simis unless you have extras, unless like it's that point of the game, and then hold off on Litwick until Community Day. There's a good chance there's some more Pokemon in the Unova generation that are going to require the Unova Stone, so it's not only the Pokemon we talked about today. There should be some more when those waves come out, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. Let me know which Unova evolution you're looking forward to most. I literally cannot, I Litwick literally cannot wait. That was horrible. Cannot wait till uh, Litwick Community Day. I think that'll be really, really fun, and the shiny's pretty dope too, so that is mine. Make sure to let me know yours, and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see your, did I say this already? Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I will see your faces later. Deuces.